Hey everybody, it's B. Okay, so a ranty video ahead. I just bring you now. Um, okay, so I started therapy. I wasn't gonna tell people, but I started going to see a new therapist, which I am enjoying. Um, I kind of just like the idea of getting out and talking to someone else, but that's beside the point. This video, besides it being sort of ranty about myself, um, is a video about an idea that I had. I blogged about it, I posted it a whole bunch of places, like tonight, and so I want to put it out there video-wise so that I can look back and, and kind of go, okay, this is what I wanted to do, if I forget. Um, okay. So I have a lot of yarn. I kind of collect yarn because I was really into crocheting for a while. And then I stopped doing it because I thought, because I, okay, I started crocheting because I wanted to do something crafty and it looked fun. And then I started realizing I could make money doing it and that didn't go anywhere. So then I basically dropped it like a hot potato and I, I would I did it off and on as like gifts for people like at Christmas time um, or birthdays or whatever so I would just make gifts for people per personal gifts for people or if let's say someone needed a, a scarf for a cosplay because like the character they were playing had a really needed a really long scarf or whatever I would crochet them a scarf um, I'm, I just do scarves because I don't, I don't know how to read patterns and I don't know how to do it too many different kinds of stitching. So it's like, eh, this is what I can do. And so that's what I do. Um, but I had this idea earlier today or earlier yesterday, I, whatever, it doesn't matter. And if you hear meowing, it's my kitten in the background. She's locked in her sleepy kennel, because that's where she's supposed to be sleeping. Um, so she's going to be allowed because she just woke up and... Anyways, that's beside the point. So, my idea is to use all of my yarn and make just a whole bunch of scarves. Just loads of scarves. And do that in 12 months. So basically, year, but I'm starting it at the end of this month, which is August. And so then I'm going to keep doing it and try to use up all the yarn I have because I have a lot of, like a lot of yarn, like over, overly abundant amount of yarn that I need to just make into stuff and then figure out what to do with it. So here, here are like my kind of guidelines because I'm not going to make them rules because I'm really bad at following rules. But one thing is I cannot buy any yarn for 12 months. So no new yarn coming in. Second, I have to finish all of the projects I have started from the past because I have loads of them that I've just started and they're just lying around and I need to finish them. So I need to finish those before I start any of the new other balls of yarn that I have around and start scarf with them. My cat is just going insane. Um, was, sorry, I, I have this all like written down because I was posting it on a couple of different like blogs that I kind of been doing off and on. And I really just need to get this down video-wise onto my YouTube channel. So let me see if I can find my post. Um, okay. And then I need to post videos or post photos on my blogs when I finish a project and I need to um, do like do a little bit of crocheting every single day 
And the reason I'm saying these are guidelines and not rules is because things do come up and sometimes I don't feel like doing something, so I won't do it. So if I made it a rule that I had to do it, then I wouldn't want to do it. So it's kind of like playing a mind game with myself, telling myself, oh, it's just a guideline, you don't have to do it. But I'm going to try to crochet and keep crocheting for 12 months basically a year but um since i'm starting it close to the end of this year it doesn't make sense to say a year 12 months um and i'm going to try to post pictures of the finished project on my blogs and stuff and maybe i'll do a video like an update video close to the end of this whole project idea um and show you all the things i made um, I don't know if that would be interesting or anything, but I just think since like I frustrated my, I frustrate my mom because I will buy new yarn, but I have tons of yarn already, but I'll buy new yarn because I like new yarn. I like getting new yarn, which is not a good thing because I don't use any of my yarn and I don't sell any of my yarn. So or do anything with my yarn usually. So I'm going to do this. This is my project and I'm going to try to keep this as a goal and then I'm going to inform my mother that this is my goal and this is my idea. And then I am going to try to stick to it, but I can't promise you any of the sticking to it because I'm not very good at sticking to things. I mean, I'm amazed that I've stuck to blogging for how many years I've been doing it. I'm amazed I'm still streaming and playing video games, even though sometimes I'm doing it reluctantly. <laughs> because it's like, I like playing games and I like streaming, but like, I don't always like who shows up. <laughs> and I asked a question earlier today on player.me um, is like this why people don't like me or whatever and someone's like you 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 you're you rub them the wrong way and I basically answered him going well not everybody's my cup of tea either <laughs> I gave him attitude so basically I'm like well if they don't like me for me then that's their issue not mine um which is silly <laughs> I know it's that silly. Oh, anyways. Like, and then my issue, the, the here's the brandy part of the blog. Um, I'm mad at myself because I have so many hobbies and things I want to do, want to try, want to do, da 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 da. But it involves a lot of the projects and a lot of the, um, and a lot of the hobbies that I want to do involve buying things and then I never do anything with them. Like, I was doing beading, like, jewelry a while back. I have loads of jewelry or loads of, like, beads that I bought thinking I was going to make a whole bunch of jewelry and sell it and blah, blah, blah. You know, it's like everything I, like, hob most of the hobbies I've done recently have been, how can I make this into something that makes me money? And um, can you guess how any of those have gone? Badly. Because none of them have made me any money. <laughs> I know it's so stupid. That's okay. One fact if you want to take from this video, do not start hobbies because you want to make money with them. Except if you're very, very good, very charming, and just not me. Because <laughs> I'll, I'll come up with ideas and I'll start running with it. And then I'm like, I don't know where to go with this, so I'll just drop it. <laughs> so this is why I don't have, like, nothing I plan or do ever goes the way I think it's going to go. Because, first of all, I lose interest in it sometimes. Other times it's like I start realizing it's not realistic. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, wait, this is not realistic? Oh, okay, well then, what about this? And then I'll just move on. And so it's like, I put effort into something and then I just drop it like it's nothing. 
and just move on. And that's one part I like one thing I really dislike about myself is because I do that and I know I do that and I know I do it I obviously know I do it like a lot <laughs> and it's like so some of the things that I'm amazed I even stick with is like kind of weird and obvious but because I like I picked up a new hobby <laughs> um like a year ago uh, digital drawing and I'm like oh yes I can like blah 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 uh, my usual go oh this would be a great idea blah 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 so as usual you know how that's going uh, and like I even got a tablet drawing tablet for Christmas last year I do use it I have been drawing I'm not saying I completely have not used it I have used it but I haven't used it like every single day like I thought I would I thought I would like be drawing every day no <laughs> no I mean I have no clue half the time what I'm doing anymore so I mean what else am I supposed to say here it's just this is this is a video about me ranting about ranting things and complaining about the fact that I keep picking up hobbies and then dropping them and not keeping with them and I'm frustrated with the fact that I keep doing that to myself and then I'm wondering why my mom gets mad at me <laughs> when it comes to like, oh mom, I want to do this. And she's like, Ugh. okay, how much is it going to cost? <laughs> that is the situation. And it's like, but blah and just I don't know I don't know if you guys do that or not I oh and here's another thing I just started well restarted I used to do a podcast now I'm doing a new podcast uh yeah that's not working very well yet I didn't start that podcast to make money I just started that podcast because I wanted to make a podcast but now I can't figure out how to get anybody to join me on the podcast to be my co-hosts and have time and planning and everything under the sun because it just seems like I can never get anything to happen. And it's not because I'm not trying to do it. It's like I'll get a hold of the people I want to be my co-hosts and then they're busy or I'm busy or like it's just life happens and it's like how am I how am I supposed to get anything done? How does anybody else get anything done? And it's like, I'm confused by it. I don't know why I'm confused by how other people get things done. It's just, I'm confused why I can't get other things. Like, why can't I get things done myself? Like, I, I know I'm a huge procrastinator, but, I mean, seriously, I'm a huge like huge one I mean I think I'm probably the world's worst I mean I'm just saying I I don't know I mean I've started loads of scarves loads they're just laying around I haven't finished them I, I just I think I like the idea of starting something new because it's like a new thing but then I kind of get bored because it's the same thing. And then I'm just like, meh, I'm just going to wander off. I have no clue why I do that. So, anyways, thank you for watching my videos. Um, if you, I will post all my information, all my linkies and doobly doos. So, uh, keep up with Twitter. I will try to post information there when it comes to like blogs and this whole pro yarn project that I'm going to be doing and all the other random stuff that I am doing um, if you want to keep up with that and if you really want to really keep up with some of that stuff uh, subscribe uh, and let me know what you think down in the comments and like uh, I mean I don't think it matters, but thanks for checking this video out, even though it's random and in the middle of the night. All right, thank you, bye.